what is up guys we are back with another video today and I am getting back into a uh, childhood hobby and skill that I used to have and I'm wanting to really develop it going into the future so I ended up investing in a 60 pound pole recurve bow and I've got several arrows these are just my two uh, practice arrows right here and today we're gonna be trying out this course um, I've been practicing about once a week now and I'm going to be continuing probably twice a week up until the hunting season as I end up pursuing that in the future but for now we're just going to go through this course and do a little aesthetic archery video let me know what you guys think and I'll do more content like this I say here we're shooting at a distance from about 20 yards so my shots are consistent but they do need to be honed in pretty well but it takes practice let's keep it up this time the camera is aimed directly at the target Still shooting a little bit wide. We're gonna keep at it until we get it perfect. If you're shooting a recurve, I highly advise that you get finger guards and wrist guards because the bowstring will slap your wrist extremely hard and it will cut into your um, fingers especially if you are using a bow with a stronger pull as I am. Ooh, that's not good. I think I know directly where that went though. Much better. Second shot. As you can see here, our second shot was a lot more what we are looking for. We're going to keep on practicing till we can get that pretty consistently and then move on to the next target. Direct. We're going to switch up our angle a little bit and distance, see how we do. Not bad at all. I'll show you the shot. As you can see here, we got a nice center shot going. I'm gonna gently pull it out while keeping the arrow balanced with my hand. I find it really interesting that when I shoot just like a regular, like a square target or whatever, I do terrible. But when I'm actually shooting like decoys, I do a lot better. I'm not really sure why that is, um, but maybe for you guys, if any of you guys know or have experience in archery, and you deal with the same thing let me know because I, I found that really interesting that I shoot this a lot better than I shoot the square targets now this one's gonna be a little bit more interesting when I do start out hunting I am gonna be starting out hunting small games so this is probably something more that I should be practicing with um, that is a uh, a fox decoy though I don't plan on harvesting any fox um, still about the same size as, let's say, maybe a coyote or a turkey generally. And I believe there is a turkey on this course too. So let's take a few shots. This is going to take a while. The good news is that there's a big wall of dirt behind the, uh, the decoy. So if I do miss a few times, which I probably will, I'm probably not going to lose or damage my arrows. Ooh. Center shot. Retrieval of my second arrow with success. And as you can see here, we have a, uh, a center shot. Perfect. 
Never run with your arrows, walk with them pointing out to the side. That's a good shot right there on the neck. As you can see there, the arrow is lodged perfectly right behind the neck, which uh, would be a pretty quickly fatal shot. All right, guys, for the final part of today's video, uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit more of some uh, long range with a larger decoy. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be a bison. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Absolutely perfect, straight center shot. I'll show you guys. This time I'm going to keep the camera where it is at so we can get an up close view. Same spot as last time. I will take it. It's consistent, baby. Woo! Well guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to see more archery content in the future, let me know. And I will continue on this course, as I will be here anyway.